Thanks for checking out this unboxing video. This is for the June Bambox Horror Box, uh, which is the only Bambox I'm getting nowadays because I stopped the pop culture. But I did substitute it with Fright Crate, so check out, uh, I did one unboxing of Fright Crate. I should be getting my June one pretty soon, and then I already purchased July, so I'm going to try and keep going with that. But in the meantime, let's do the uh, June, sorry, I'm getting lost on this, <laughs> the June Bambox Horror Box. I don't remember any of the properties on this. Um, as you can see, I'm just fresh out of the gym because I went to the gym, I came home, and when I came home, this box was on my front doorstep. So I was like, as I usually do, pretty much as soon as I get it, doing that unboxing. Got to get it out there for people. Uh, real quick, if you like any of the videos I do or if you appreciate this unboxing in particular, hit that subscribe. really helps me out long term. Also, spread the word about this if you know other people who like horror stuff because I do horror movie reviews on this channel uh, and that's my bread and butter as in that's what I like the most. What gets the most views is obviously the unboxings, but the horror movie reviews are a lot of fun. Anyway, let's get into this. Like I said, I don't remember the properties. There hasn't been a whole lot of hype from the Bambox folks about their boxes. So that's made me kind of like, oh. But then again, there wasn't any hype for the last one for the May box. And I quite liked it. I thought it was very strong. So it doesn't necessarily mean anything. My cat's over there on her cat tree. So just so you know, she may start yelling because she's not getting attention. But I got this for her. She didn't even look at it. There's only one, though. Usually I get more than one. So a little, a little disappointed, bam. You could send me more tissue paper for my cat, please. Oh, I think I know. Ooh, what is this? What is this? So here's a prop. You know I'm not big on props if you've watched enough of my unboxings. I don't really like the prop replicas so much. But they're usually quality when they're done. And this is. This is actually feels like heavy metal. I don't know what that is. I mean, it's it's blue, and it's like a spade on the key. Is this like the Skeleton Key movie or something? Which I did see in the theater a long time ago. I did not care for that movie. I thought it was terrible. Um, I guess we'll have to figure out what it is. But, I mean, it looks good. It looks good. And like I said, it's kind of heavy because it's metal, but I just don't know what it's from. All right, let's do the pin, my favorite thing in the boxes, typically. Uh, this is by Alley Cat Graphics, and it is Return of the Living Dead 3, which I'm going to really disappoint people right now. I have not seen Return of the Living Dead 3. I've only seen the first Return of the Living Dead. I know as soon as I just said that, a lot of people are probably watching this and going, oh my god, this guy claims to be a horror fan, and he's only seen the first Return of the Living Dead. I know. I'm going to remedy that. I'm going to take care of it. There's just so many movies I need to get to. Uh, my biggest problem is when I was young, my parents were super controlling. I could not watch horror movies. I didn't even get into horror movies until I was even out of college. So I've been trying to catch up since. It takes time, peeps. Uh, yeah. Well, I recognize – I've seen this character before, so I recognize this character as Return of the Living Dead 3. Um, yeah, it's like this punk zombie chick with, like, metal spikes sticking out of her. I've seen her before in conjunction with the title, Return of the Living Dead 3. So, that's cool. I like the look of it. It's nice. They, don't, You know, they really don't do a whole lot of, like, rounded pins. So, it's kind of cool to, like, get different shapes here and there. So, the fact that this one is rounded when they usually don't do that is a, a nice difference. And I, I actually really like the touch of the fact that it's rounded, but the spikes are hanging over. That's a cool touch. I like that a lot. This is cool. This is a nice pen. I like that pen. I dig it. Alley Cat Graphics. Good job. Plus, you have cat in your name. Can't go wrong. All right. So, uh, here's the art print, part of their fan art collection. It always says that, by the way. Uh, it is by artist Kim Martin, and it is called Shut the Gates. I have no idea what this is. I have no idea what this is. This looks like it's a graphic or something. I don't I don't know if this is actual like art art or if it's like computer graphics art. It's like a woman crying blood and it's just like kind of blurry. Got to be honest, I don't like this style. I really don't like this style of art. Um, I got number 692 out of 2000. Uh, this reminds me a bit of some of the other stuff they've done kind of recently where it, it's, it appears to me for the art prints, they've been going a little more towards the graphic art 
uh, the computer graphics art stuff instead of actual like drawn art and I'm not digging that if that continues you if, if that continues I'm gonna have to reconsider things with this box to be honest because like I say I'm in it for the pin and I'm in it for the art prints autographs are pluses uh, if the props are good that's a plus but um, just I don't know I just don't really dig that uh, I'll have to see what it's from but I mean nah I'm not not a fan Sorry. Um, then the autograph. Here we have it. Do, 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 do. Signed by Oliver Robbins, who played Robbie in Poltergeist. Oh, this must be in the remake Poltergeist. Is that it? No. Can't. Well, yeah, maybe. I don't know. I saw Poltergeist, actually. The original Poltergeist. Is this from the original? I can't tell. Because it looked like the... Well, no, it must be the original guy, because, yeah, because look at him here. Sorry, the glare. See that dude? Yeah, it's probably from the original. Um, I saw the original when I was young. I was a, a little, little kid. I'm talking I was, like, no older than eight years old. And let me tell you, I could not sleep. I could not sleep. That was that was actually the first horror movie I had ever seen. Um yeah, I'm sure people are now just like, geez, for the first horror movie you've ever seen being Poltergeist, that thing is scary now. Like, in my adult years, it's friggin' scary. And, wow, yeah. No, but this is a cool, um, no, it's a cool autograph. I'm down with that auto. That's cool, man. I dig it. And that's it. Um, eh, not huge on it. But the pin is great. The autograph is pretty cool. So, it's all right. Um, okay, so Oliver Robbins signed 8x10 photos. I hate you, I hate you, I hate you. Everyone remembers Robbie destroying the clown in Poltergeist. We're excited to have Oliver Robin, Robbins Robbie in this month's box. Yeah, so he is from the original. That's sweet. That That's actually, yeah. It's cool, man. It is cool. Those are all the different variants you could have ended up with. I like most the one that's out of 99 where you see the clown in the background. That is sweet. That's cool. Yeah, no, that's a good autograph. Like, I like autographs like that. Like, yes, he played the kid, so he's not like a big um, actor from that film, but that's not the stuff you're going to end up getting in these boxes, and people just need to understand that. So in my opinion, that's a decent autograph. He's the type of person who would end up showing up at horror conventions, and he would probably be charging like $40 for his autograph. So the fact that he, you would have to spend more on just his autograph than you spend on this box. It's a good deal. I, to be honest, it is. So if you're in, in it for the, just the autographs with these, it's worth it just for the autographs, because to be honest, the, at horror conventions, there aren't that many people who show up and charge less than $40 nowadays. It used to not be like that. I remember going to horror conventions back in like I don't know, like 2009, 2010, and everyone was just charging 20 bucks. And maybe a person here or there would charge like 30 or 40. I think I paid 40 for George, George R. Romero way back then. Uh, but pretty much everyone was doing 20, but now it's like 40 minimum. Except Sid Haig. Sid Haig has never changed his price, and he won't for the fans. It's always 20 bucks. Classy guy. Um, so the signed fan art print, Kim Martin makes her debut in the horror box this month with one of the best scenes from City of the Living Dead. Okay. Not, I've not seen City of the Living Dead. So those are the different versions you could get. Like I said, just not a fan. Like, it's 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 not my thing. It's not my thing. Uh, then the pins. Alley Cat Graphics makes their debut in the box with pins from Return of the Living Dead 3. So these other two pins like they're not familiar to me since i haven't seen the movie but they look good i mean they look better than good to be honest they look really good i like them i like them a lot and then those the key is from resident evil 2 okay so i have seen resident evil 2 but it's been a long time i've only seen the first two i think yeah i think i only saw the first two but i do plan to go and you know do a watch through of all of them potentially in october because i do 31 horror movies throughout the month um, so yeah, so those keys are from it. Dark Matter Props brings us the Raccoon City Police Station keys this month. Okay. Raccoon City keys. I don't know. 
Or maybe that's from the game. I don't know either. I have played that game, but also it's been a long time. Uh, and then the special giveaway, you could have won a Halloween Michael Myers mask signed by Tony Moran. Pretty cool. They're, they're like one item giveaways like this, like this, they're sweepstakes they kind of do. Um, always, always really cool items. So whoever ends up getting them, lucky person. Yep. And that's it. Uh, one thing I want to comment on though, they've been saying that they're actually going to get like a design for these boxes because they had it some time ago and then they went to just the nothing Actually, for a while, it was just, like, brown boxes, and then they went, switched to white. But uh, they've been saying for quite a while now that they're going to have a new design, and it's just not happening. So I'm just kind of like, what's going on? I mean, I would think that they would want to get on that a little bit faster. Not because, like, I care that it's branded or not, because I really don't. I just ended up recycling the box. But I would think that, like, they want people to see that, like, when it's sitting on someone's doorstep, that it says, like, BAM or, like, BAM box. Because then people would see it and be like, oh, what's that? You know? Drive some more interest. But, you know, whatever. Um, the important thing is what's in the box. And for this month, yeah, really dig the pen. And the autograph's cool. The autograph's definitely cool. So, like usual, it's it's worth the money. The fact that I like the autograph and I really like the pen, it's worth it. It's definitely worth the money. Um replica i mean i'm sure there are people who would like the prop replica because it looks good it's well made all that jazz i'm just really hoping this is not the direction they're gonna keep going with these art prints just because for me personally there i'm sure there are people out there who got this and are excited about that and that's great that's great um and i can't you know do stuff like this so someone's talented but um I, it's just not my thing. It's it, This seems more like a computer graphics type thing, and that's not, not what I'm personally looking to collect. That's not what I want. I want, like, hand-done stuff. That's what appeals to me most, but I just hope that that's not the way they're trying to go. It just reminds me of the the art print a few months ago for the new Pet Cemetery movie. That was definitely all computer graphics stuff, and I just did not like that one. It was like, but anyway, thank you, um, everyone, for checking out this unboxing. Like I said, please hit the subscribe for me. It really can help out a lot. Let's talk in the comments. I know people are more than willing to talk about these boxes, their feelings on the items in there. Um, but, yeah, give me your opinion. Did you like the stuff? Did you not like the stuff? Criticisms, praises. Did you get the box? What did you get? I always like hearing when people are like, oh, I got that at 99 and it's amazing. And yeah, that stuff's fun. So uh, put some comments down there. If you want to do a like, you can do a like. It doesn't matter that much. But the subscribe does. Thank you so much. Until next time, keep it brutal.